Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Ratchet Lockers. And today I'm doing a pickup video. Something I don't ordinarily do, but I would like to share what I got as of late. I have a game here that I've always loved to play on the GameCube, but I never really got the chance to play with it on the 3DS until now. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. It's something that I always wanted to play on the 3DS because my kids are always on the Switch and I wanted to sit on the couch and enjoy some TV as well. But since with them on the Switch, I decided to pick this up for five bucks off of Facebook and I got a wicked deal off of it and I get to actually enjoy the game. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is something similar to the Luigi's Mansion that was on the GameCube. The gameplay elements are pretty much the same. Luigi with the help of Dr. Egod are trying to find out what happened to the Dark Moon that's hidden in the Dark Mansion. I'm having a blast playing this in short bursts and trying to figure out the puzzles on level to level basis. Next up is a game I wanted for the Switch but I decided to pick up some child friendly games for them as opposed to a game that I can sink so much time into myself and not allow my kids to play the Switch, which is kind of counterproductive. But I picked up Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm loving this game. I finished it. Not my favorite Legend of Zelda. It's probably up there as one of my favorites, but I think Ocarina of Time is, still goes down as one of my favorite Legend of Zelda's of all time. This is by far one of my favorite games on the Nintendo Switch. The music, the art direction, everything about it, the puzzles are top notch. The puzzles alone in each dungeon was by far one of my favorite things. I have about 60 hours into this and I've actually completed it and I'm not regretting any bit of it and a definite pickup for any Switch owner. Next up, a Nintendo Switch case. What's so special about a Nintendo Switch case you ask? Well, I got this on a super cheap, about nine bucks. <laughs> at EB Games or GameStop as you guys have it in the States. I picked it up as super cheap and it served the purpose that I needed it. I went on a road trip with my wife and kids and I figured that they would need something for their Switch when they're transporting it. With this being hard plastic and serving the purpose of all the games that need to come along and all the wires that need to come along, this was a very good deal for the nine bucks that I paid. These next three games were games that were given to me as a gift from my coworkers at work. Long story short is I left my current employer and I started a new job. And with the employees that I had there, they had decided to actually give me a few games on my way out. And I'm very grateful for the fact that they did that. They didn't have to do any of that, but I'll take it by all means. Start off with Call of Duty World War II. I'm playing through the campaign right now. I'm about three quarters of the way through. I'm enjoying it. It's much like any other Call of Duty, huge set pieces, and the gameplay is pretty much standard when it comes to a Call of Duty game. There's a little bit of elements that were taken away from movies, which is pretty cool. I'm enjoying it so far. Multiplayer, I'm getting destroyed on it. I haven't played Call of Duty multiplayer in a long time, especially a boots on the ground Call of Duty, and I'm enjoying it. It's just, I'm <laughs> very, very bad at it, and I'm getting my butt kicked left, right, and center. Next two games are games that are still sealed, and once I actually finish Call of Duty, I'm going to start the next one, and that's Nier Automata. I've heard nothing but great things from Nier Automata. It's by far one of the games that probably people are saying that was a game of the year contender last year. And I can't wait to sink my teeth into this just because you finish with the main story ending and you just keep going and going and going and it unfolds more and more and more. I'm actually looking so forward to playing this game. A friend of mine there at work decided to pick me up it and he was saying that for the longest time I should have played this last year, but I couldn't. Because I'm a cheapskate and I had so many good games that came out last year. I had to pick and choose what to grab. And this was one of the games that I stayed off that list. I'm glad to have this into my collection and I can't wait to play this next. Last but not least, The Witcher 3. This is the complete edition and I'm looking forward to spending hundreds of hours into this game. The DLCs alone, from what I understood, from all the people that have ever heard play or ever touched this game, is that it's a masterpiece. The DLCs are amazing. The story is amazing. Probably one of the best games of this current generation on the PlayStation alone. I'm looking so forward to playing this game and I can't wait to start as soon as possible. With that being said, these are the games that I picked up and uh, were given to me as of late. I'm looking forward to actually spending so much time in gameplay and playing and reliving some of these memories that many people have shared with me on my own. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, guys. Thanks.